Good morning. Uh, oh, I got a string flying off. Spent the night at Mount Collins Shelter. Uh, it was a packed house. I'd say there's like 20, 30 people there. Uh, of course, not everyone stayed in the shelter ever since they opened up the camping option. So there's probably like 13 maybe, 12, 13 in the shelter and the rest camped. There's a ridge runner that stayed there the night. That was pretty neat. Um, it's a beautiful shelter area. It looks like it's in a pine forest like this. Um, today the plan is Newfound Gap, which I could have bypassed yesterday. It gave me like a 14 15 mile day. But last minute plans. My dad's gonna meet me there and hopefully bring me some brownies. That's one thing I've been craving. I think hiker hunger has finally set in and I don't think I packed enough to get to the Smokies. And I'm really craving brownies. So the trail starting from um, the last shelter, I forget what the name is, to Newfound Gap is pretty much a pine forest. And it is very beautiful. However, because it's so wet, your stuff just doesn't dry out, so it stays constantly wet. So I have all wet socks. They're starting to warm up, though, on my feet. It's not good for for blisters though. Ooh, the sun's peeking through a little. Found gap. Woo. Okay, it is not new found gap. We still got 1.7 miles to go. This is Indian Gap Road. We're gonna continue this way. Oh look, my first wild hog containment bridge. Go up. Round down. There's a fence there. Keep them out and then they can't walk on this thing. Keep them contained. That sign back so the sign back there said this is a beach forest with a lot of native plants. Um 
specific to this area. And if the wild hogs, which have are um, invasive, been around since the 1950s, if they came over this way, they would destroy the native wildlife, or not wildlife, native plants. So those fences are to try to keep them out of the area. These guys are trying to steal my food. The view after Newfound Gap.